Hey guys, I'm Joe Kurtenbach with American Rifleman, and this week our gun of the week is one of the newest offerings from Colt, and that is the Combat Unit CCO. So this is based on the classic 1911 pistol design. It is a Series 80 pistol, so it does have the internal firing pin safety. One note on that, when they originally came out with that, I think a lot of people were a little bit iffy about the Series 80's design, whether it was going to affect that beautiful Colt 1911 trigger. I gotta tell you, the Series 80 guns they're building today, no problem at all. Anyway, moving on. Colt Combat Unit CCO. And this one's a nine millimeter. So what does that even stand for? The CCO is the Concealed Carry Officers model. It's kind of a mouthful. The origins are a little bit fuzzy, which is interesting because for one of the most well-documented pistol designs, no one's exactly sure who first made it a commander style slide that's with a four and a quarter inch barrel and appropriately shortened slide compared to the full size government model. And it's mated to a officer's or a shortened frame. So, and what the end result is, is basically a very compact, easy to conceal, easy to carry handgun. And in the modern rendition of the combat unit CCO, we've got an anodized aluminum frame for weight savings, and so you really do have kind of a modern 1911, maybe the most modern design, in that it's really gonna be well suited to concealed carry, but you're gonna have all those great features and functions of the classic 1911. All those things that make the 1911 one of the most shootable guns out there. The Combat Unit series was a collaboration between Colt and some Special Forces trainers, kind of designing pistols that would meet the needs of the modern shooter. And to that end, we do have some interesting features here. We've got G10 grips, obviously a material we're seeing a lot now in stock design. We do have full diameter texturing, which is a feature I like on 1911s. And what I mean by that is the back strap is checkered, the front strap is also checkered, and we have texturing on the stock panels. So you really do get a good grip. Speaking of grip, all of the combat unit guns have a aggressively undercut trigger guard and that allows you to get a nice high grip and it pairs nicely with the generous beaver tail. So you can really engage that. And speaking of the grip safety back here, the beaver tail, you do have the memory bump to ensure that you deactivate that grip safety with a good firing grip. A Couple other nice features on here is the ambidextrous safety. So lefties, you'll enjoy that. Uh, basically, it's kind of a nice shallow unit on the left side of the gun and on the right side you have a second paddle, bilateral paddle. Very easy to engage and disengage uh, from both sides. And it's gonna be a feature that a lot of people are gonna enjoy. We see a lot of guns going to a ambidextrous design, one that can be used by both right-handed and left-handed shooters. You will notice though that all the controls, from the safeties to the slide lock and release to the magazine release, they're all a little bit smaller or at least trimmed down. And I think that goes along with the overall carry package we have here. Everything's been dehorned, so it's nice and smooth. And all the controls are as subtle as possible. So again, going along the lines of that concealed carry package. One feature that kind of goes against that trend though, but adds a lot of utility, the magazine well. This is an extended well and gives you a little bit larger opening for inserting that magazine. Kind of increases the reliability of those reloads. Moving up to the top of the slide, we do have a PVD finish up here, so a lot of durability there. Nice matte black, pretty much all business-like. Our sights are Novak style, windage adjustable rear, and it's all black at the rear, which is my preference, paired with a bright white front. And that front sight does have a tritium insert, so it has night sight capability. As I mentioned before, this is a Series 80 gun, but it is a standard barrel bushing design. So for disassembly, you do have the standard 1911 barrel bushing. The gun's gonna feed from a nine round, nine millimeter magazine. And this one does have a little bump pad on the bottom, which I think just helps pair well with the extended magazine well. Kind of wrapping it up, we do have a national match four and a quarter inch barrel. We also have slide serrations front and rear. They're a little bit wider profile than typical, but it's kind of a modern design and does allow for press checks or other fire manipulations, really your preference. Very cool gun, very modern take on the Colt 1911 series of guns. Uh, so for more information on this, the Colt Combat Unit CCO or other combat unit guns, go to colt.com. And to stay up to date with the latest guns and gear, of course, stay tuned at AmericanRifleman.org.